What's up guys, it's Azran here, and we are back <coughs> with the ULC match, with the ULC playoff action. Um, we have first round match, Lotus League versus Absolution, and we have Exca on one side and Batora. So, the way I see it, if Tapu Koko doesn't have the field day, Tapu Bulu will. And Tapofini is there to stop any Kingdra from getting out of hand. So, um, yeah. But who knows? So, we're gonna. Batora is gonna lead off with Coco. Exit is gonna lead off with Pelipper. I would Grass Knot here every single time. And he gleams. Maybe he doesn't have Grass Knot, but that's Specs damage, so that's fair enough. So I, you know, make the good play because, like, for me, I'd probably pull, pull a, pull a derp and forget that that swift swim. But I wouldn't have like, yeah, this is not the play. Like, I would have maybe at least taken the EQ and then pivoted out into something. He just goes for the nature's madness here. He gets the rocks up too. Predicts that with a defog. I would have just died, killed him, his ass. Like, so there's another defog. Like. So, X is wasting his rain turns. Now, this is the turn he should just, like... So, Batoro is just fine exchanging this. Not realizing that, I guess, Kingdra's a thing. But... Tail Glow comes out. T-Bolt comes out. That's definitely Specs Bolt right there. Goes out into Seismitoad here. Goes back out into Feeny. Gets the rocks up. Um, Batoro needs to realize that the Life Orb hit... Feeny's not going to be able to defog, so I hope he realizes that, and he does not realize that, so yeah, ha ha ha, rocks are here to stay, 100%, so looks like Exca will have a chance at winning this, definitely now, so Magirna decides to come out, and now uh, this Magirna will get a kill with T-Bolt, or Floor Cannon, whatever, interesting, but now the rain is gone, so the Kingdra's going to come out, who are you sacking here? Klefki is a good sack. Good sack. Actually, I mean, actually, no, 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 it wasn't a good sack. Togekiss was the better sack. Yeah, Togekiss was the better sack, so we can go into fucking Klefki and then T wave this bitch. So that's the serve. That does a dick load. But Tor goes for the Horn Leech, knocks it out, but, you know, apparently Tapu Bulu is just too goddamn strong. And X was not real enough just to spam the Hydro Pumpinators. So the Pulse comes out from the Greninja. And then that's Life Orb Protean with, well, that's Grassy Terrain. The Toga kisses Scarf and just goes for the Gleam. And I think Bulu should be able to clean up here. Maybe. Who knows? If not, the Magirna is just right there. The Magirna is there, so it'll be fine. So the Ice Fang comes out. That's actually interesting. I don't know if it'll knock out um, Bulu from that range. Goes for the Waterfall. He might flinch here. He does not. Yep. And... But Tora's team is just too much for water, because water is kind of meh this gen because of Bulu and Coco alone. So, yep, Lotus takes the first game. Now we move on to the second game. <coughs> Lotus Torpid versus Kevin Elf. This is obvious, not obvious, a Trick Room team. Definitely better than my Trick Room team. And Kevin Elf is rocking, flying with Mantine, Gliscor, oh, Cancer, and, ugh, and Skarman. Disgusting. Disgusting. Fastest Pokemon in this game, Mega Charizard. <laughs> I over here in the comments is like fastest Pokemon on this game is Mega Charizard. Why seems legit? That's actually terrible. That's actually yeah. Like where is your speed control, big dog? Anyways, I mean it makes sense for Torpid because he's got fucking Trick Room team. So now he leads off with the Lolowak, gets off the rocks. The score comes out. Sableye is the easy switch, but I don't get, I do not understand, I don't understand why Torpid did not lead with, um, with freaking Sableye so that he could prevent rocks on his side of the field. So now Torpid is just going to click Calm Mind. Is this the end of it? Kevin Elf decides to just defog the rocks away. I'm gonna get a Wisp off here. If this is so, so, what's happening here? He doesn't want to get a Scald Burn, apparently. Scald Burn is scary, even though it's not as bad as it was last gen. So 
Just for the toxic, gets the magic bounce off. So na so now you just like submitted yourself to more damage if he's gonna scald. He goes out into Charizard here. Torpid doubles into Delmise. Delmise should be able to eat one. Should be able to eat one. Decides to go for the Solar Beam, predicting the Jellicent. You can do that next turn. Like you can Solar Beam the Jellicent on the next turn, right? And then if he switches, his entire team is just taking damage. He can just rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat. Like, none of his mons are safe from this mon. I don't, the Solar Beam play was absolutely not necessary there. And then Torpid just heavy slams. I guess he doesn't have Ghost Beam. He decides to Solar Beam again. Power Whip comes out. Like, what is going on? This thing roosts. I'm so confused. So now, so now Kevin L roosts and Torpid makes the Dawn play of just EQing. So after two turns of just derp. Then I guess that happened. So now Kevin Elf punished for his Fire Blast, for his incessant inability to use Fire Blast. And ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, you just saw a Delmise 1v1 a Charizard Y. Yeah, yeah right here. <laughs> so this Zapdos decides to sub. Heavy Slam comes out. Sableye comes out here. Toxic. Sub Toxic. Got him. Damn, this is some like S rank cancer. This is this flying team is so Oh my goodness. So now the para comes out, so it's time to play play games with the para. Zap is gonna sub. Yep, there's the paras. Oh, gotta love the para. I mean what am I saying? I'm an electric main, so it's the para there. Easy, easy play, easy plays. Easy plays by Kevin Elf. And Torpid goes out into Delmise. Delmise the king. So this thing does not have the heat wave, so now Delmise can just heavy slam. I mean, yeah, what is he gonna do? No ghost move. This is the rapid spinner. So this has power whip, heavy slam, earthquake, yeah, and then rapid spin. It has to have rapid spin, it doesn't have ghost stab. Which is fair, which is a fair. So now he's just gonna continuously heavy slam here. I don't get why if he went into like Delmise and I guess he was sacking it. But why are you not going into Why are you not going into like a Lolan whack? Like Why are you not going into a Lolan whack? That's weird. So Zapdo switches out into Mantine. Scald comes out and Kevin Elf is a king apparently. I don't know what Torp is doing. After that, like Dawn 1v1ing and it, it was all over. So now the Trick Room is up and the Sableye is going to get his juices back now. Yep. And this just will probably turn into Sableye Winning Fest. So we'll just speed it up a bit. Para comes out. Um, Kevin Elf is just only hoping for a para here. Another para. But nope, he's going to get a recover. He's going to sub up now. Sableye gets parried. Fully parried. If I were Sableye, I would just combine. Start combining. It's a crit. But the recover... Is good. What is this? What is this? Okay. Anyways, where were where were we? Com combine tier. Oh my god. Discharge comes out. Recover. Recover. Oh, this is getting a little boring. Quite honestly, it's just like stalling and stalling it, and that does nothing to Dragonite. Um, this comes out. I don't know why he didn't click Dragon Move. Was he really fearing the Mimikyu that much? Like, yeah. So the Sableye is going to just 1v1 the entire team, albeit Parrot. Oh no, it doesn't because of Parahax. Parahax is OP. This EQ is doing way too much. Oh, it's Banded Knight. That's why it's Banded Demon. Trick Room comes out from Le Hoopa, regular form. He goes for the Plotinators. So now he's going to claim three more souls with this. Come on. There's one soul. There's almost a second soul, but Skull is not adequate enough to knock him out. It's only two souls. That's pretty fucking good, though. Took out the man time. Like, good score decides to come out. EQ's the Hoopa. Goodbye. Mimikyu is gonna come out now. This Mimikyu's probably Z move. It's gonna ask D and then just hit him up with, like, the Zest it moves. Goes into Skarmory. And then he goes for the trick room here. Goes for the shadow claw. That does nothing. Absolutely nothing. And it's life orb. Skarmory's brave bird. Shadow 
Claw is able to knock it out. And now he's no switch ins for a Lolan Marrow. I mean, he can just recover, yeah. That's probably the safest play, because I don't think a little mirror can KO the Glisco in one hit. <coughs> just recovers here, and then we're just probably going to see more sub-toxic stall horse shit. That's okay, we can just avoid that. This is Rockhead Marowak. Fair Flare Blitz comes out. Flare Blitz to the dome. Torpid switches out into Sableye once again. Um... Switches out into Zapdos. I wonder if Torpid makes the double here. He does not. He just recovers. Zap subs. Ugh, let's just see who wins. Does the, do the Paris come through? Do the Paris come through? Does the Sableye come through? Looks like the Sableye is coming through. Uh, da, 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 da. Wow. How many? Yeah, he's just pee pee stalling at this point. Da, 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 da. Yep. PP stall battle. Nice. Excellent. Whee! Jeez, we're on turn 108 now. And finally, Kevin L forfeits. God damn, that was long and very entertaining. And by that, I mean not entertaining at all. So we're going to move on to the next. What is it? I... So, Kevin Elf lost. I don't know. Is that the second? That was the second game? Yeah, that was the second game, right? That was the second game, right? So, I forgot. Ugh, then, you know what? Screw it. I'm just going to remind myself because I don't even give a damn. Uh, the first game was Exca versus Batora. Yeah, so Batora's up 1 0. Uh, what's his face? The Torpid makes it 2 0. And now we've got this Sligu versus Lotus Bitter. And he's got Bug versus Normal, but this Normal doesn't have Chansey or Porygon, so take that as you will. Star Raptor comes out, decides to U turn on his ass, go into Smeargle. Yep. With the webs up, goes for the Magic Coat. Don plays, Don Corleone plays, but he's just gonna spam Sticky Web. Like, I would spam Sticky Web, there's no fucking point. Oh my goodness, is this going to be the next two turns? Are you fucking kidding me? Is this actually going to happen? So the knockoff comes out, breaks the sash. He finally gets the webs up. Yeah. Leaf Blade. Alright, enough of that. Seriously. U turns out again. Scarf Star Raptor is just going to have a field day. Uh, Digger's B comes out. Um, this is definitely CC Scizor then. He just goes for the frustration. Because apparently that's enough to kill. Ditto comes out. On to the pincer. He goes into Scizor. The wall to the Mega Pincer. So this is a stealth rocking Mega Pincer. I am so confused. So now... And this is a defogging Scizor. Huh. Flames. High quality flames right here. Shadow Ball comes out. From Meloetta. That's like Specs damage. Fire Blast. Why did he risk the Star Raptor? Why in fuck's name did he risk the Star Raptor? Star Raptor was gonna get at least three more kills and then force a Scizor in, and then just you can go out into Ditto because that because this the Scizor can't touch it. Oh my goodness, I'm so confused. So Sligo goes for the frustration, obliterates Bitter. Ditto comes out, has nothing else it's better to do. Quick attack into quick attack. Little the Ditto. I guess didn't care for Mega Pincer anymore. So the thing is just gonna bullet punch? Yep, that's banded. That's banded. That should be a good game. No, it's not. Is it banded defog? Is that banded defog? Or am I just tripping? So, with that, Lotus is now up only 2 1, and now we move on to game number 4 Kalucha versus Lotus Balance. So, he's using the same this water versus poison. So, we'll see how this goes. Balance leads off with Pelipper, as per usual. Goes for the Hurricane, and uh, like, apparently Scald is not free, so just double Hurricanes. I mean, to be fair, the Nido Queen is probably Sash anyway, so Pelipper comes out. Azu is the play of choice, sacking it to T-Bolt. You know, that's actually pretty good, just in case he went for like an Earth Power play or something like that, or has HP Grab for some fucking reason. Yeah, Earth Power does a lot to the size of a Toad. 
Hydro Pump's gonna do even more to the Needle King, knocking the Needle King out. So now Venusaur comes out, Earth Power is going to do a lot. No, that does a lot. That's a lot for a Venusaur, ladies and gentlemen. He should recover here, but nope, that's the misplay right there. Um, he has to switch out, go into a low muck below him for him. Gets a nice juicy U-turn off. Now Kingdra, Rotom, I guess, is going to do something. Good on the Venusaur. He's going for the Z-move. He goes for Hydro Vortex. Z-move Rotom. Whoa. Holy shit. Holy shit. Hydro Pump does nothing to the muck. Gets a knockoff on the Rotom. Gets a Shadow Sneak on the Rotom. Gets the Poison. Rotom goes for the Pumpinators, killing the muck. And it's all but over now. I mean, unless Balance does not have what you call it. Uh, Surf on Kingdra and just Hydro Pump. Then it's not over because he could miss. T Will comes out, kills the Pelipper, beast boosting, but that's okay because Kingdra is out here with the freeze to surfs. Yep. So that's a GG, and Lotus takes this LVL 3 to 1. 3 to 1. So I hope you enjoyed that. That was quick coverage of that. And I still have two more to cover um, Valiant versus Imp, which is us, our match. And then. Alliance versus Arbiter was the other one. So hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.